today we are checking out the LRXK, otherwise known as the 2015 Ferrari FFXK inside a drive world, and we're also going to be checking out the Zena GTR, otherwise known as the 2021 McLaren Senna GTR inside a drive world. So yeah, let's move on to the upgrades for both these cars, starting off with the LRXK. For the engine on the LRXK, I recommend you get an i6 along with all the race upgrades, but I recommend you leave the chassis stock. For the suspension tune the LRXK, I recommend you pause the video, but here are some screenshots. For the gearbox and the LRXK, I recommend you leave it stock, but yeah, let's move on to the tune for the Zena GTR. For the engine on the Zena GTR, I recommend you get an i6 along with all the race upgrades, but I also recommend you get a race chassis. For the suspension tune the Zena GTR, I recommend you pause the video, but be on screen for about 5 more seconds. For the gearbox and the Zena GTR, I recommend you leave it stock, but yeah, let's move on to the first race for both of these cars, which is Hurrican, starting off with the LRXK. Alright guys, so we're here at Hurrican with the LRXK, just like I said, and I'll see you guys in a second with the results. Alright guys, looks like you can get doable 55.9 on Hurrican of the LRXK, but yeah, let's move on to Hurrican for the Zena GTR. Alright guys, so we're here at Hurrican of the Zena GTR, just like I said, and I'll see you guys in a second with the results. Alright guys, looks like you can get double 56.6 on Hurrican of the Zena GTR, but yeah, let's move on to the next race of both of these cars, which is Speed Avenue, starting off the LRXK. Alright guys, so we're here at Speed Avenue of the LRXK, just like I said, and I'll see you guys in a second with the results. Alright guys, so looks like you can get doable 49.8 on Speed Avenue of the LRXK, but yeah, let's move on to Speed Avenue for the Zena GTR. Alright guys, so we're here at Speed Avenue of the Zena GTR, just like I said, and I'll see you guys in a second of the results. Alright guys, so looks like you can get dual 53.4 on Speed Avenue of the Zena GTR, but yeah, let's move on to the final race for both of these cars, which is drag, starting off with the LRXK. Alright guys, so we're here at drag with the LRXK, just like I said, and I'll see you guys in a second of the results. <laughs> Alright guys, so looks like you can get doable 10.9 on drag for the LRXK, but yeah, let's move on to drag for the Zena GTR. Alright guys, so we're here at drag for the Zena GTR, just like I said, Dan, I'll see you guys in a second of the results. <laughs> Alright guys, so looks like you can get a doable 11.5 on drag with the Zena GTR. Alright guys, so what are our final thoughts on these track cars? Well, in terms of the LRXK for racing, it's nearly a meta car. The top speed is meta, the acceleration is meta, the brakes are overall good, and the handling is overall good, but will slide if you drive it aggressively. But what about the Zena GTR? Well, it's overall a pretty decent car for racing. The top speed is near meta, the acceleration is pretty decent, the brakes are overall good, and the the 
handling is overall good, but it will lean quite a bit in the corners. Now, overall, the LRXK is worth buying if you're looking for technically the best cold car that you can buy currently. And the only thing that holds it back from being meta is the overall handling and grip since it's harder to drive compared to meta cars like the Blade. And the Zena GTR is only worth buying if you're looking for mainly a collection car to add to your inventory since they're better cars in the regular dealership like the Yasko for racing. So yeah, you guys let me down in the comments what you guys think. But other than that, huge shout out to Cloud for being today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.